in the hormone sensitive setting I think people are awoken to the idea that maybe this is a good area to test new agents and that's partly because things happen more quickly in this setting if you wait for a patient who relapses with a rising PSA and you're waiting for them to develop metastatic disease and then develop castration resistant disease um, that space is harder now with all the drugs that we have approved in that setting to kind of get to an answer more quickly whereas in this setting uh, because patients present with metastatic disease, uh, unfortunately their, their overall outcomes may be more limited and they may progress on average with ADT alone within a year and a half. So, um, but as it gets more crowded, as abiraterone and or docetaxel becomes a new standard of care in this setting, in the metastatic hormone sensitive setting, it may be harder and harder to get an endpoint like survival because um, these patients are getting subsequent therapies for CRPC like radium-223 or like uh, Cipulucel-T or, or cabazitaxel. So, so I think it's going to get more crowded, but I think we will continue to see drugs being developed in this space.